12 lazy guys. The other 12 guys did nothing all day and came to sit on the lawn and tell lazy stories. The first guy says, Your lazy story has nothing to do with me. I'm worried enough about myself. Just worrying about yourself is too much. I eat a little, but I drink a lot. After eating four meals, I had to rest for a bit to get hungry, then eat again to feel good. I don't like getting up early, but near noon I have to find myself a place to rest. The owner called, and I acted as if I hadn't heard. The owner called a second time, and I slowly lifted myself to my feet. That's why I can live. The second guy continued. I have to herd horses. I put the iron jaw in his muzzle. I didn't feed him nor did anyone know. I can sleep peacefully in the warehouse, wake up, I pedal the horse with my foot, that's my way of bathing. Isn't that miserable? The third guy says, what to whine? Like me, doing nothing. Lie in the sun and sleep always. Then suddenly it was pouring rain. What was it like to get up and do it? The rain was getting heavier and heavier, more torrential. The rain washed away all the hair. The rain eroded the whole skull. That's when I put the bandages in there. Things like that often happen in my place. The fourth guy says, If I have to work, I usually slowly stretch my shoulders to gain momentum, and then I look around to see if anyone can come and lend me a hand. Then I let them do it all and watch. That's too much for me. The fifth guy says, That's worth mentioning. You think, I have to put the stable's manure in the carriage. Picking up the shovel, I had to rest for an hour before continuing. One car a day is more than enough. I don't like overdoing it. The sixth guy says, Are you shameless? I don't mind a single thing. Do I lie down for three weeks without changing clothes, without taking off my shoes, and it's not harmful? If I had to climb a ladder, I squeezed one. Foot on the other, counting how many steps I had to climb. The seventh guy says, My boss also wanted to know what I was doing, but he had to go all the time. So I went all the time, and wherever I went, it took four strong men to pull me up. As soon as I arrived, my eyes narrowed. And I fell asleep so fast that I went home without my knowledge. The eighth guy says, Maybe I'm the funnier. As I walked, I saw that there was a rock in front of me. It was no crime to avoid it. I immediately reclined and lay right next to the rock. The mud was covered with me. I just lay there until the sun shone down until it was dry. The ninth guy says, Like you, that's also rare. When I'm hungry and the bread is right in front of me, I'd rather starve to death than have to reach out and grab it. When thirsty and with a store of drinking water, right next to it, it is better to suffer thirst than to lift the accumulation and put it in the mouth. Lying flat and dirty like a log all day is my favorite. The tenth guy says, It was only because of laziness that I broke my leg and sprained. We lay right in the middle of the road and slept. 
Hearing the car coming, I just straightened my legs. The car ran over and broke his leg. At night, mosquitoes buzzed around me. They got into the nose and flew out through the mouth. It was better to let them fly in the nose and out of the mouth than to chase them away. The eleventh guy said, I resigned today just because my boss sent me to take books and put them away. At work, the days are as long as a century. Actually, my master didn't want to keep me either. I let termites run out clothes, his clothes. The twelfth guy says, Today I drove straw home from the fields, but along the way I fell asleep, so the horses ran the horse road, the car ran the road. The wheelchair went down the hole without my knowledge. Luckily, my master came and pulled both the straw cart and me home.